video we will learn about how we can create measure and calculator column in tabular editor 3 so for this i had already open tabular editor 3 from the power bi desktop so here you can see there is one table sales and uh, there are some measures actual sales uh, subcategory count and total sale here you can see the icon right we have only three uh, measures here so if you look here the table editor 3 so if i click here sales under tables sales i'm not able to see any column any measure here the reason is under tom explorer here you can see some icons the first icon is if you click here show or hide measure currently it was hidden and now i have clicked to show the uh, only measures right so there are three measures actual sales subcategory and total sales and i also want to see the number of columns the second icon here you can see show height columns just need to click this icon and uh, here you can see all the underlying columns here right and in the same way, uh, here you can see hierarchy and uh, show height partition, folders, and many more. So let's try to create one uh, new measure. I just need to click, right click, and uh, create measure. Either you can, you can also press Alt plus one to create measure. So I will write very simple measures like uh, sum x. The first column is the table sales comma and uh, then i can see the number of uh, columns here but i am not able to see what type of values are available in these columns so for this i just need to right click and press uh, preview data so this is the warning just close it and uh, then i need I, I just need to drag the sales table and put it here side by side. So let's write one expression sum x. Uh, first, we need to click here new measure uh, sales. And the second column is I can use here, for example, order quantity multiply by. Uh, extended amount this one so this is the measure that we have written and we can rename we just need to select and press F2 and we can write here sales total extended sales this one this is the name of the measure right so now we need to deploy this measure to the Power BI desktop. So we just need to press Control S. And if you go to the Power BI desktop, so here you can see the total extended sale measure is there. So in this way, we can write measures in Tabular Editor and can deploy from Tabular Editor to Power BI desktop. So in the Next video, we will learn about how we can create a calculated table and calculated columns. Uh, right now, if I show you again the tabular data 3, if I right click uh, in this uh, sales table, any column here, and there is no option for the calculator column and calculated table. If I click here at the table level, so here you can see I'm not able to see any option for the calculated column and the calculated table so in the next video we will see how we can create calculated column and calculated tables and some more features so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you